Hello there. Um, I'm back. Uh, for exactly where we left off because I thought, well, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it probably, and it genuinely probably will be another eight years until I never do another part. Um, so here we are. Progress, part two. Very exciting. Big day, big day. Um, being real. Uh, I. It's current. <laughs> part one is currently uploading, so. It is the 24th of November, and um, here we are. I'm just going to make a quick video, uh, 10 minutes, and then, I don't know, I'm going to play Fortnite because I'm a gamer. Cool! Here we are. I can't remember what really Headless Nick said, but that I'm 99% sure that was the real John Cleese because he had lots of divorces and, lots, and lost lots of money, but he's kind of a prick. He's, I'm pretty sure he's racist. So, that's fine. We don't need to support him. We're just here now. But hey, I'm not here to get into politics. I'm just here to play Harry Potter. How did we get into politics so quickly? John Cleese's fault. But here we are, again. Reckless abandon. A child being put in a very dangerous situation. And locks that don't really work. That just seem to unhook because of feathers. Like... If you could open a door with some feathers, just a series of feathers, I'd be concerned. I would be concerned. Like ah, some snails mm. have escaped from a pair <laughs> of magical creatures. <laughs> Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. They're dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the flipendo knockback chinks from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. Yeah, cool. And watch out for those poisonous snail traps. I know. Okay. So, as I was saying before, I'm getting really interrupted by the game that I'm playing. I'm like, <laughs> might as well not be playing the game. Um, yeah, it's been eight years. My life really hasn't changed that much, to be fair, except for the fact that I'm in full-time employment now, which is depressing. But I'm not in school, because I left school. <laughs> like, six years ago, I did... So I left school at 19. L2 and R2 ah, L2 and R2. Yeah, I left school in, um, when I was 19. Oh, don't ask me what year that was. And I've just been chilling. I've worked at, ooh, I worked uh, in retail for six weeks. That was part-time. Hated that. And then I worked in another retail job about nine months after that. I could not get a job because, well, that was exactly when COVID hit. So that was difficult. And then I worked in two call centres, and they were both dog shit. And now I work in a hotel, and it's not too bad. And that's uh, phew, that's my whole life caught up. That's eight whole years. <laughs> Madness. You can also cast a flipendo knockback jing. See what you can find to flipendo in, in this, this room. room. See what you can find to flipendo in this room. Flipendo! I can't flipendo, John Cleese. Flipendo! Hey, I would say his voice is annoying, but I know mine is too. That's another thing. I found out that everyone thinks I'm a woman on the phone. Did you notice that poisonous snails twinkle? Things that twinkle can be a thing. This is a jinx block. Your flipendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx. Done it. Yeah. Um, get my way. Everyone thinks I'm a woman on the phone, and. Oh. A lot of my last few jobs, especially being in a call centre, have been answering the phones. I still answer the phone a lot, and they always call me mum, and I'm like, hello, I'm not a woman. I'm not. I don't correct them anymore. I used to correct them. I got to a point where I wouldn't correct them, and then I correct them all the time. Because I knew I'd be on the phone with them for a while. And now, at this point, it's like a little mum, and that's it. I want, and I've had past calls. I shouldn't say in the past. Past calls in the past, because where else would they be? Um, with people who... <laughs> Oh, what a lovely woman you are! What a lovely woman! I'm just there like, well, I'm not a woman, but thank you. Uh, it's old people. It's always old people. I find that young people don't assume. Or they just, they're like, yeah. Yeah, they don't assume. They just say like, hello. You're a person, I don't need to call you Mr. or Mrs. Anything like that. It's like, cool, that's fine. Um, yeah. I've just started complaining. Again. Bloody gammons. Flipendo! Flipendo! 
I did spend a lot of my childhood playing this game. Just to, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. It's not like, it's, it's not really anything I need to say. But I've played it before, so I'm I'm pro gamer. I know what I'm doing. Um, but I probably haven't completed it in mm, ten years. But it's a cute game. I don't know. It's cute. It's cute. Do you think that's actual real life Neville? I can't remember his name. Stephen Smith, that's not his name. He's definitely not Stephen. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I've just I've just been told what to do with it, not listening. No, it's too far away. Woo! Why doesn't he have a wand? Probably said. Libra's around here somewhere. Libra's around here somewhere. Imagine getting attacked by books. By books. Isn't that nuts? Attacked by books. Like, oh, these pieces of paper are flying at me. Like, what can they possibly do to you? Like, I don't know. Well, if they're pretty heavy books, they could probably squash your head in. They could probably squash your head in. That's very fair. I wouldn't want my head to be squashed in. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one in this. Hopefully not many people in the world thinking, oh, I want to get my head squashed in. Yes, please. There are... Mm. I don't know if they're calling it a crossman. There are better ways to die, I think. <laughs> We're not getting into that discussion today. Because that's not exciting or fun. We're busy playing Harry Potter. Woo! Ah, that's not Hedwig, that's somebody else's owl. Never mind. Sorry. Well, he's gone anyway. What? Doors just unlock. There's no context. There's no rhyme or reason. Maybe I'm just complaining for no reason, but <laughs> it's just oh, this door's unlocked now. I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi. Oh, I'm that. Neville. Okay, that's what I'm happened. I guess. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice you can say fuck in it. It's okay. You can swear here. It's a safe space. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my Harry here. helped me escape on, from Harry. some this fucking guy. books. I'm eight years old. How old are they actually meant to be? Eleven? I think they're eleven. Like high school age. Which, when I came out in 2011, uh, 2001, I was like, oh, so old. Because I was like five? Four? Fucking excellent. Here's a broomstick. Cool. You know, I think that's going to end. Um, episode two. you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. I'm not following him. I'm ending the episode there. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>